Hey everybody, welcome back. It is me, Kim Velez, if you do not know. Um, this channel is all about like making shit happen in your life, feeling good about yourself, knowing you are the God of your reality and manifesting the life of your fucking dreams. As P, money, dream body, perfect health, wealth, you name it, we talk about it. So before I dive in into this video, because we're going to talk today about something that I think is really important. I actually saw a TikTok of that Bashar guy. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. The one who, re he reminds me of Abraham Hicks a lot where he channels something, whatever. But I did like this TikTok and it's about why circumstances don't matter, really how to view it in a way that gives you or reminds you how powerful you are so you can transcend them. You can overcome the current circumstances. So we're going to dive in deep like I always do and talk about the shit you need to talk about in order to get what you want. So stay tuned. So before I jump into that, I do want to make a very quick announcement. Um, I am doing my glow the fuck up two day intervention again. This is the last time I will ever do it live. Uh, I'm going to only be selling it as pre-recorded. If you are interested, if you are, you know, still having your specific person on a pedestal, if you're still feeling super insecure, this was designed as an intervention to help you bring back the focus on you, remind you of some of the powerful concepts, talk about manifesting a glow up in your life that is separate from a specific person so that you start remembering your fucking worth and value. And I've done this uh, amazing glow the fuck up workshop four times. I sell out every single time. It's incredible. But, but this time I'm also adding some really massive bonuses that I've never done before with Glow the Fuck Up. So in Glow the Fuck Up, again, click the link. You can read all about it, learn more. Obviously, if you have questions, just shoot an email. My email is below as well. Um, but you get a workbook. You get these two days. We're meeting on Valentine's Day. I thought I'd spend Valentine's Day with you guys. And then the day after Valentine's Day for around, you know, two hours, uh, to really dive into these deep concepts that I talk about in Glow the Fuck Up. It will be recorded. You will have access to the replay forever as long as I'm alive and this program like YouTube doesn't shut down or whatever platforms I'm using to house this stuff doesn't just disappear. And you also are going to now have these massive bonuses, this access to pre-recorded audio versions so I can protect people's privacy and really um, allow you to have an additional almost 20, I think it's 27 hours of content. So this is incredible. This is amazing. And I wanted to share it with you. So all I have payment plans available, everything is uh, detailed below. Just click the link and you can learn more. So let's talk about this. So what was Bashar saying on his, t on the TikTok that talked about why circumstances don't matter? Well, this is, we all know this. I've done a trillion videos on them. People love talking about this. It's almost like it just gives you that reminder because we are not used to having life happen outside of us that we experience with our five senses and then not believing like the, the way we've been raised and taught is that whatever's happening around you is truth and fact. So it doesn't mean that whatever's happening in 3D isn't happening. What it means is that well, you manifested it through your state of being. What is a state of being? Your dominant thoughts and beliefs or emotions, because thoughts uh, married with emotions are your state of being. It, that's what a belief is. It's what you know to be true, your uh, dominant assumptions of how you look at yourself in relation to what you want to manifest. Self-concept's not a blanket for how you see yourself in the world. Like there's different layers of self-concept. Um, you have a different self-concept with how you see yourself as a wife, how you see yourself as a husband, how you see yourself as a sister, a brother, a son, you know, a mother, a daughter, a father, a friend, a coworker. So there's so many different layers to your self-concept depending who your audience is basically. And this is why you have different experiences. This is why some people can have, you know, really good family relationships but terrible love relationships or they can have really good friendships um, but maybe not the best uh, family relationship. I mean, there's so many different levels to this. So 
this is why you look at the area of your life where you feel insecure, you don't feel good enough, and this has been your pattern, and then you manifest in people that have to reflect that version of you um, in your reality, and then you're also looking at because the story of other people in your life determines your, it's based off your self-concept. When my self-concept was really poor, it was very easy for me to see other people negatively and hold that story in place. Now, I manifested in versions of SPs um, to be not good in a lot of ways for me because they had a match with my story of me and love right and then because i manifested the experience that was normal for me that was familiar with me see in my past it wasn't familiar with me to feel good about myself when i was involved with someone i was interested in i had the highest self-concept when i wasn't being triggered when i would meet someone and i had no interest in them i had a high self-concept it was if i developed feelings for them all these underlying subconscious beliefs about myself in love and how I saw myself in my self-concept would kick in and create really unfavorable <sighs> patterns in my love life. So circumstances don't matter because your state of being creates them. So we have to remind ourselves over and over again when your circumstances are showing up because you will be triggered. This is a process to really undo that learning and training of, oh, life is happening. Uh, to me, you know, that whatever I'm experiencing in my 3D reality that I see with my eyes, hear with my ears, um, you know, are touching with my hands, that that is concrete and an absolute truth. It's not. It's all relative. The minute you change a perspective, the minute you change a belief, the minute you change your thinking, it all starts rearranging and shifting. So you're, all you're doing is rearranging your mindset and then the 3D will follow, okay? So state of being creates circumstances circumstances do not create the state of being now a lot of people and including myself in the past would go with the latter i would believe that whatever was happening outside of here i let that determine what i was going to get i let that determine um who i was in relation to it now mostly in my love life that's where my dominant pattern had hindered me and how i saw myself and my self-value and my love life would go up and down it would fluctuate it was always being controlled by outside circumstances so what you're doing when you're ignoring current realities one it's a mirror to you it's old so in the law of attraction spiritual community they always talk about echoville right that your 3d is echoville it's an echo of the old you and one of the amazing things that bashar did say in this TikTok that i really resonated with and i was like oh i got to share this with the people that follow me and listen to me is when we're getting what we don't want in our 3D reality, right? It's the old reality that's still showing up. You're going to know if you've changed your self-concept. And here's how you know. Because it's your assumption when that old 3D reality is showing up of how you see yourself. So if you still are responding to your 3D reality where you're still thinking, believing, and feeling not good enough and that shit isn't changing and just that old story, I'm sorry if you hear construction, they're doing roofing stuff. Okay, I'm back. The roofing stuff got really loud. Okay, so if your 3D reality is still showing the old reality, right? So you have the SP still giving you breadcrumbs, still being an asshole, still not wanting to commit, not calling you, not texting you, whatever, whatever that old fucking story was that you're used to. If you look at it and you start responding in your mind and in your beliefs, in internally in your mindset where you don't feel good enough, where you're you know, going up and down in your emotions, where you feel like nothing's changing, you still hold the old story of them, you're still holding the old story of you, you're still holding the whole same old fucking story of what was with you guys, you're still, that is your dominant assumption that is your dominant way of thinking that's your dominant idea that's your dominant perception whatever we can say all of the above or pick one of those when you are experiencing your 3d circumstances as not favorable and the story you're holding dominantly of those circumstances is nothing's changed i still am not good enough i'm still being rejected they're not changing they don't want me blah 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 blah, blah. then you have not changed your self-concept 
So that's how you know. So when the 3D is showing you what you do not want, if you look at it neutral as fuck, where your natural thought and your assumption when you look at it is, huh, why is this still showing up? Oh, okay, what do I want instead? And you flip it on its head and your natural belief, your dominant belief of those circumstances is they don't matter and I'm still getting what I want somehow, some way. And you don't feel less than, you do not feel insecure, you do not feel not worthy. Like none of that old self-concept is dominant in you. Then that is how you know you change your self-concept. You've changed your state of being. So then you know when you look at the circumstances, this is why they don't bother people who's changed their self-concept because you don't give power to that because you know who you are and when you see that it doesn't match with the new you so you're like well this is irrelevant this will be out quick this is just remnants from my old reality that I held in for so long so who and it doesn't take power over you so that is how you really know if you've changed your story when I build up my self-concept so fucking much, when 3D would show me moments of things not showing up that I wanted or lingering old 3D reality, because remember, I had years of a negative interaction with my specific person. So there was a lot I had to undo and untangle for it. Not only my self-concept of 40 fucking plus years <laughs> of this story, you know, changing my story of love, changing my story of men. And I didn't know all the answers right away. Nobody knows all the answers right away. This is why you focus on you so you can get the foundation, you hold stable. So then when 3D is showing up, you keep reinforcing your self-concept, you keep changing layers of the outside story internally, right? And the more you go through it, the easier and easier it gets. So when I had those moments of unfavorable circumstances still showing up in 3D with my good self-concept, it did not trigger me. It had no power over me. I just looked at it like, huh, exactly what I said earlier, where I was like, why is this showing up? Hmm, I must, oh, I did have this old story of him. Okay, well, I need to see him different now. And it was so easy for me to change that belief of him like that. When I had old self-concept dominant, I could not easily change a story of him to get a different version of him that was favorable for me because my self-concept was so low and I didn't feel good enough in relation to him and all that yucky shit that was triggered from my abandonment wounds of being in foster care and not feeling good enough and things like that from my childhood that it was not, I was not able to sustain a favorable story of him. So this is why circumstances don't matter. They are only relative, they are not absolute truth. What is a relative truth? A relative truth means the minute I change my perception of it, it's no longer my truth. It's relative to how I'm seeing myself in relation to it. It's only relative right now uh, because of how I am holding the idea of it. Once I change that concept of self, once I change the idea of it, then I have a new relative truth that I can change again and again and again if I want. So this is why circumstances don't matter. It's literally Echoville, it's old remnants. And the way you're going to know if you've really changed your dominant state of being, your dominant self-concept into the wish fulfilled is when 3D showing you your old reality, it doesn't take over you. You don't kick back in with your old dominant story. You might have moments where you do that because we are human. You still might have a moment of insecurity. But again, remember, it's not about perfection. It's not about I have to hold and maintain, you know, this dominant or hold and maintain a state perfectly. It's dominantly. Dominantly could be 51% out of 100. It could be 80% out of 100. As long as it's dominant over the old insecurities, old beliefs, and old assumptions that were not favorable for you or about you, then you're winning, okay? The only thing you check is you. This is why circumstances don't matter. It can change at a drop of a dime. You can see something really unfavorable today and tomorrow could be the complete opposite in your favor or it could shift in two weeks. Nobody fucking knows. Your only job is to go within and and program anything in you that is telling you why you can't have something. And usually 99% of the time, it's their self-concept issues. Because when you see what you don't like on the outside and your self-concept's high, it's easy to disregard that yucky outside circumstance because your self-concept of you in relation to it will override that and say, huh, 
no, this is what I want instead. They'll be this way differently. And then that's what you get. That's why you manifest favorable things in other areas of your life where you have a good self-concept because you're able to look outside of you and say, what do I prefer instead? And then you're, you see yourself in relation to that is worthy and good enough to have that. So it's easy to see that thing differently the minute you decide you want to see it differently. The reason why when you look at circumstances now, especially with a specific person, and you believe that more than you believe the reality that you desire is because your self-concept is not on point, babes, because the minute you decide out here with a good self-concept that, hey, no, they're going to come and correct. We're not dealing with this anymore because you know your worth and value. You know you're the operant power of your reality. You know you get to have what you want. You don't need that 3D to fucking change in order for you to know that. You see what I'm saying? So all the work is within. This is why circumstances don't matter. I hope this video helped bring even more clarity. Um, and I cannot wait to see you in my glow the fuck up to really do an intervention if you need it. And let's get SP off pedestal. Let's bring the focus back on you. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.